There is a new piece of kit in game. It's called the improvised knife and it doesn't spawn in a given location. It is a craftable item, an item you have to make. And what you have to do to make your improvised knife is go to a stony surface such as this one here, search for a stone which will come into your inventory, then put it in your hands and then kneel down again and scroll the wheel and you'll get the option to craft the improvised knife. A sharp shard of stone, basically demonstrating process whereby you are smashing one stone against another. This is a small item that takes up one slot in your backpack. It has a very poor reach in combat, but it can be used as a weapon. And if you're quick, it can be quite effective. Yeah, if you're able to get a headshot on a zombie with any weapon, it can do very good damage. Probably the most effective thing the improvised knife does is open cans. It does it with a very high percentage. You can also mine larger stones from rocky areas such as this using the pickaxe. It gives you a larger stone into your backpack which you can then split into using the pickaxe which will give you one of the stones which you would then use to craft your knife making the improvised knife very readily available. So not only does the improvised knife open cats but it also cuts down kindling is very useful. So reflection. The improvised knife is a great piece of kit, largely because it opens cans at a high percentage. You can use any weapon now to open cans, but often you'll get a huge spillage which could make all the difference to your survival in Daisy Standalone. I would recommend against using it as a melee weapon, as you can see here, you might not have an option, but there's a good chance you'll get hit, and it is hard to get that headshot with the knife. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please click the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next guide.